Look at them! All animated and stuff. This looks like my ex-girlfriend. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley here on Farming Simulator 15. Now finally, I've actually took some time out to um, to learn how to do the animals on this game because I've been a bit slow with my research and stuff because of work, but I believe we are now ready to go. So first of all, before we get going, you may notice that today there's no webcam, a uh, wheel cam, sorry, that's because... Um, I'm recording this before I head to work and the car is already loaded for work and I actually take the GoPro with me to work because of reasons. So don't worry about that. But do not worry, it will be back in the next episode or whatever. Let's go ahead and unfold this plow. We're not plowing today, don't worry. We are just going to set this guy off on a hired worker. And this is actually our last, um, last field that we need to plow. So that's always good. Let's get this guy lined up. And we'll press hired worker. In this case, we've got a female. We're going to call her Julie. Hey, Julie. Go on. On your trot. So, cool. Now, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, we have £96,000. And we are going to be buying the animal trailer. The Joskin one, which is only £24,000. I thought it would be more than that. This one's way too excessive for what we need at the moment. So, yes, we're going to go for the Joskin one. £24,000. No upgrades available. We'll buy that. And, uh... Yeah, we'll head down to the store to get that. Now, we could technically use the truck if we wanted to, but I'm pretty sure it would give us a bit of problems along the way. So we're going to use one of the uh, one of the case tractors. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, this one. Now, one thing, actually, before we head out, um, I've actually got a mod installed now which removes the daily upkeep of vehicles, kind of. Basically, every day when you play in a game, as you guys already know, all of your daily upkeep gets taken away. Um, we have one which is manual now, so we have to do our tractors individually. So this one here would cost us £12,000 to repair. A bit excessive at the moment. Hopefully the uh, model for fixes that. But yes, we just repair tractors if and when we want to. Um, eventually they'll stop working, so you have to keep on track of it. Uh, we have drive control back as well. It turns out I just had an old version of it, so <laughs> that's kind of user error. So we're going to head down to the store once again. I think we've done it in every episode so far. And um, we're going to collect our Joskin trailer. So um, I don't want to waste much time just blabbering on on the way there. So I'm just going to drive there. And I'll meet you guys when we're hooking up. That sounds wrong. Right then, okay everybody. So we're just coming up towards the store now. Once again, I'm pretty sure we uh, always join up again at the same point every time. See the zombie pedestrians have gone. I did actually see that. Although I didn't upload a video at the time. But I did see them walk around like zombies. Which is very... Very peculiar. So there's our Joskin trailer right there. And I also have a mod install which is a bit buggy, so hopefully it'll work. Where when we put the tractor into reverse, the camera should automatically turn around. Yes. Not as good as the one I had on Farms in 15, but it's uh, it works. Which is all we can ask for at this point. So let's go ahead and back up and hook ourselves up. Did we get that or did we go too far forward? I think we went too far back actually. There we go. So... Where are we going? Because I actually have no idea. Apparently, we're going to Mary's Farm, which is... Right, so we have to head all the way down the freeway. And uh, it's the very, very last right turning on the map. It takes us up a little dirt hill. And Mary's Farm, aka the uh, animal sell point, or buy a point, sorry, should be there. So, um, so once again, I'm not going to bore you as we go down this really l long, boring road. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it hundreds of times from myself and other YouTubers. So, um... I'll meet you guys when we're turning off. Right, okay, everybody. So we are now coming up, I believe. Let me just get the mini-map up. Yeah, so it's the next turning which goes off to the right. Which I have been up before when it goes up a hill. So we're looking for a tiny little hill. We'll uh, indicate. Not that you can see the indicators. But yes, we'll indicate. Um, the indicator just went off by itself, which is a bit strange. Looks like the uh, auto light off mod may be a little bit too sensitive. So here it is. We'll uh, get our diff locks, uh, four wheel drive on, sorry, not diff locks, don't need diff locks. Just so we can pull this trailer up here. Come on. We can do it. Power! This tractor's got 43 hours of work already. Jeez, that's a lot. Considering we've only just started the game. Um, not sure what's in that field. It looks like it's withered though, which shouldn't be happening because withering is off. Maybe it looks like that anyway. I'm not sure. Let's turn our four wheel drive off again. We don't need it. And this must be where we buy our animals at the bottom of here. So I'm not sure still which animal we're going to buy. We're possibly going to be buying pigs. But then again, we may change our mind and buy cows. So <laughs> yeah, not sure just yet. 
Wow, that's a lot of manure. Maybe we can uh, but take come and take manure from here and buy it. Maybe that's how it works. Not sure. Now, one thing I have done, because I'm an idiot, is removed the, uh, the buy trigger. So I'm not sure where the buy trigger is. Not the trigger itself, but the, the markings for it. Now, we can easily put them back on, so it's not really an issue. In fact, I think that's what we may have to do. So we're going to go to inactive, no, interactive, sorry, zone markers, turn them on. And um, we're actually in it. I didn't realise that. Make it look a little bit more realistic, though. We'll back up into the, uh, we'll back up into the little ramp thing. This could be where we sell them, though, so this is a bit worrying. So, yes, that was awful to simulate. Absolutely awful. So, yes, we're back up into here. Hopefully, this is not just the sell point. Hopefully, this is both of them. And let's, uh... I know, this is where we buy them. So, we want pigs, sheep, or cows. I'm thinking cows, because... Oh, no, they're £5,000 a pot, though. That's the only problem. I want the manure from this, so we can use it as fertilizer. Do the pigs get out of manure? Not even looked into it just yet. What we're going to do, we're going to buy some pigs. We'll buy some pigs. So, three, six, nine, twelve. How much should we buy here? We'll buy... That's all we can buy. Why can we only buy that? We've got £72,000. Why can we only buy nine of them? Whatever, we'll just buy these for now then. And it should load the trailer up. £27,000, yes. Oh, I know why. It's because we can only get nine into the trailer. Of course it is. There we go. My bad. Completely forgot we were actually restricted on uh, how much we can get in the trailer. And, uh, so yeah, now we have nine pigs. We may get a couple more, although I kind of want to get some cows and stuff as well. Right, guys, so I'm going to uh, take this down to the pig yard. Actually, I've gone the wrong way. This is apparently a really fun road, but it's nowhere near where we want to be going. We want to go back to our yard because the pig, the pig uh, enclosure is right next to that. So, yes. Let's head down to there, and uh, we'll see how we actually unload these. I'm going to turn these markers back off again. Okay, guys, so we're just coming up to our yard right now. We're actually going to turn into here and take the shortcut. It's not really a shortcut. It's just the only way I actually know how to get there. So, uh, yes, I have just noticed as well you can take the cover off these. And you can actually see all the little piggies inside, but they're very silent passengers. It would have been cool if giants had uh, put some sound effects to the trailer, like some pigs squeaking or whatever. That would have been pretty cool. Right, so we're going to take a right here. And there it is. There's the hill we're looking for. It's like a maze, this yard. Now, I do actually plan on decking this out with sheds and stuff. Don't worry about that. When we get a bit more money. We're still kind of at the beginning stage right now. There's our beautiful ploughed and cultivated field ready to be seeded there. And fertilised as well, obviously. I might fertilise it first. Although, I only have one stage fertilising on. So, um, let's turn our four-wheel drive on a minute. Looks like we're struggling up here with the pigs. So yes, they're very quiet, these pigs. So it'd be cool if Giants would have uh, put some sound effects on. Maybe someone's going to bring out a mod for it, just to add a bit of realism. Because I'm pretty sure pigs wouldn't be quiet whilst you're um, carrying them in the trailer. Just a hunch. We don't need our four-wheel drive anymore. Turn it off. And um, is this a forestry area? It is, actually. I didn't even realise we have within our own back garden. Didn't actually know that. And here is the uh, the pig enclosure. So we're just going to find out where we dump these off. And I'm pretty sure I know where because I saw Silver playing the... Uh, no, sorry, Brad playing the pre-release. Is, is that my truck? Why is my truck here? Um, I don't remember bringing that up. That might have been from the multiplayer. And I believe this is where we dump them off here, this little path. So once again, we should have the automatic turnaround thing on. Yes, we do. So we'll back up. We'll... Um, Straighten up a little bit, actually. We need to be dead on line with that gate. Let's turn our beacons off. And that. And the indicators. Why do they keep coming out? Of so, is it... Oh, there we go. So, we can actually load the trailer. That's pretty cool, actually. Do like that. No. Okay, so we can't open the, uh, the back doors, unfortunately. Which I was kind of hoping we could do. I do like the fact that we can uh, lower and raise the trailer. That's pretty cool. But, yes, yeah, so we'll get these unloaded right now. Unload nine of these. And now they are in our farm, so confirm that. And yeah, they just disappear. That's a shame that the uh, back doors are open. That would have been a pretty little cool feature, but now we should have our cows roaming around. There we go. Look at them. All animated and stuff. This looks like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, these are cool. Right, so now 
We've got £45,000 left. Do we do some farming or do we collect some cows as well? I kind of want to collect some cows. I think that's what we might do. Um, okay, ready? So that is our pigs loaded up right now. So um, I've been thinking. Um, I was going to say, should we buy some cows now? But with £44,000, we're not going to get much. It may not be worth it. So I think we're going to buy more pigs. Just probably like nine more pigs. Um, and then we'll have a good amount of pigs that we can start working with. Because they do give us manure and slurry. In fact, I didn't realise they give us slurry as well. But there we go. We've got the slurry pit there. The manure pit here. So yes, this is going to be a perfect start for us. Plus, I think the pigs are a lot less maintenance than the cows. So yes, to begin with, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to jump straight back into the case. And take the uh, Joskin trailer back down to the animal market. Let's put the cover on first of all. And we will lift up the Joskin trailer. There we go. And we're now ready to head back down to the animal market. Why wouldn't that turn on? There we go. Wouldn't turn on them. So yes, that is our plan for today. We're going to buy nine more pigs. And he said sheep then. Yeah, nine more pigs. And that should be a nice little head start in terms of getting manure and stuff. And then we get more money. And then we can buy the sheep and the cows. And well, then we'll be away, basically. Because we're still on very much starting equipment. Which I'm pretty sure most of you are getting annoyed about at this point. So after this video, what I'm going to do is... Actually, no, after the next video, because I've already re got to record the next one, is I'm going to do a lot of contracting work to save up for a new tractor. Uh, I think I know what tractor we're going to get, but I'm just going to double check anyway. So yes, I'm recording another video after this, and then after that, we will, um, yes, we'll do some contracting work off camera. I may even live stream, I don't know yet. But um, yes, we definitely, definitely need to have a new tractor within the next two videos. That's our goal. Um, where are we going? This way. So we need to head on to the main road, basically. So let's head down here. Does this curve into the yard? I cannot remember. Giants really don't like curved roads, do they? Okay, we're actually at the uh, the cow house right now. And we're going to back up into the ramp once again. I'm going to do this in third person because, of course, I have head tracking on. And the camera should automatically switch. No, that's the wrong button to simulate. Well done. Let's try that again. So the camera should automatically switch. There we go. So back up into here. Take the uh, cover off while we're doing this. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is lower the trailer so it's nice and flat for the animals. And we'll buy some uh, some cattle. So they're £3,000 each. We're just going to buy a bunch of them. Why not? So £27,000 that will leave us with uh, £17,000. Sorry. So yes, we're a bit low on the old monies right now, but Hopefully, it won't take us very long to get it back up. So, we'll lift the back of the trailer back up. Put the cover on just to shelter our little piggies from the sun. And we'll take this back to the uh, to the sheep, sheep pen. Why are we taking to the sheep pen? We'll take them back to the pig pen. Right, okay, everybody. So, we are back at the uh, the pig pen right now. We're going to go ahead and once again back our pigs up in to the unload bay. Right. Let's reverse up into here. Slow and steady. Oh, I overshot that one massively. Let's try that again. Okay, so there we go. We're in line. We'll go ahead, put it back into forward gear, lower the back down, and we will unload our piggy pigs. Okay, so we've got 18 pigs in our little pen right now, and we'll go ahead and lift that up. Awesome. So, there we go. That is our pigs. Now, all we need to do is basically start feeding them now. I don't know if there's actually 18 physical pigs in here. It might be like 15, which just shows you a little bit of them. How much have we got? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, looks like we've got ten pigs in here. Looks like that's all they give you. We have actually 18 technically purchased, but yes, it's only given us 18 physical pigs. No, it only give us ten physical pigs, sorry. That's fine. So that is us done with the Justin trailer today. So we're going to go ahead and put that back somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going to store that, actually. But yes, we'll go ahead and put it back. And then we need to... Well, we're a bit short of cash. So we may do a little bit more contracting work. Even though we did that in the last episode, we need to get our money back up. So yes, I'm going to show you how to not cheat money in, but how to get money. Right. So I'm going to take this back to the yard. So something actually funny has happened right lately. And I'm going to explain it in the... Um, in the next video, or maybe do a video about it, like, exclusively, but... Uh, 
There may, for 2017, the channel name may have to change, which is something I don't want to do. But um, it turns out there's a company out there called Simulate, and they've dropped me an email. So hopefully things will get sorted, but um, hopefully I can keep Simulate. But yes, we're going to look into that more, and I'll let you guys know. It'll still be the same stuff, exactly the same game, exactly the same channel. It's just uh, may have to rename the channel. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. I think it's mainly the website they don't like because it's. Uh... Well, but they say they they said their customers are getting confused, which says a lot about their customers actually. Because if I think it's like a big um, what do you call it, marketing company or something like that, like stock exchange. So if their customers don't know the difference between a stock exchange website and a colourful gaming website that says simulate game gaming in big blue writing, then well that says a lot about their customers. If I'm honest, I'm pretty sure you guys would agree. It's a bit ridiculous at the moment. They're obviously have quite a stupid demographic, but there we go. N not to do with it in this video, we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to park this uh, case up here, actually. There we go. And we'll get the we'll get the beacons off here. There we go. Um, stop putting your indicator on. There we go. Now we're going to jump into the pickup truck, because we're going to head to field number one. Yeah, field number one, which is pretty big, I think you guys could say. Um, I was going to do field number five, but that's going to take a little bit too long for my liking. So yes, we're going to do field number one. So we'll get into the pickup truck. We'll start her up. And we need to go... Where do we need to go? We'll follow this ro ring road round, and then we'll take the first left all the way across. So yeah, uh, that's the issue with simulate name. Apparently, their demographics getting confused. Their customers are getting confused between Simulate Gaming and Simulate Corporation, which, like I just said, says a lot about their customers, because I'm pretty sure some of you guys that watch this are quite young, and even you would click onto their website and be like, well, this isn't Simulate Gaming, click off. But apparently these grown adults get confused when there's a name the same, basically. I've not had any messages about Stock Exchange, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But yes, hopefully we'll get it sorted. I don't really want to change the name, but it's like we have to look forward to. Right, okay guys, so we are now coming up towards field number one now. I believe it's a, uh, a harvesting job, so it should pay quite a lot. And um, we're going to get paid a little bit less than usual because we're going to go for the biggest header that they offer us. And there's the marker, so we'll go ahead and park ourselves here. And we'll see if we can get the 45 foot header. Uh, 40 foot, not really. 35 foot, definitely not. 35 foot, no, 35 foot. 40 foot, 40 foot, 35 45 foot. So that's the biggest one we can get. It's the New Holland um, Super Flex Draper. So yes, we'll get this one. Let's go ahead and start this mission up real quick. Okay, so let's get this other started up. We'll um, unfold it. And the mirrors are useless, but we'll try and reverse and pick this header up. Where is it? It's all over there. Someone's parked that pickup truck too close to us. Who was that? Might have been us. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's put it into reverse. Maneuver around. Okay, there we go. And now we'll pick the header up. And let's select our header. We'll unfold this. And there we go. So we have our, um, our header on the run right there. Let's go ahead and line ourselves up with the field. Cool. All right, so let's get our GPS on. That's what we're doing today. Try and keep it straight as we can so we can uh, get the best possible outcome. Lower the header, and we should be away right now. So let's try this. Yes. And now we are making some money. So we've got 47 minutes to do this. So of course, I'm not going to make you watch it because that would be very boring for you guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sub my thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. I know we didn't get much done today, but this is all leading up to, of course, our massive animal session, which is going to be real, real, real soon. So, yeah, once again, if you did enjoy, sub my thumbs up button. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming. I'll see you in the next one.